Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabans. We want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. And we give you guys a fresh perspective on things tonight. We see today we got a hell of a show for you guys. Before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel and be sure to hit all notifications to be notified the second we publish our content on YouTube. Be sure to do that. Let me get into this topic here. So it's been open season on uh, on uh, hating on Michael Jordan. Uh, a lot of people have been trying to do this and they've been doing it, if I have to be honest with you, unsuccessfully. But nevertheless, that's not stopping them. They came up with this new thing of we're done with the 90s. And uh, most of us were like, really? Th th this this is what this is what y'all got left? This is what we're doing now? Y'all done with the 90s? Really? That was the first thing. The second thing was, oh, Michael Jordan didn't have a left hand. So if the greatest player to ever play basketball didn't have a left hand, and if he's not as good as we really think he is, then what are we supposed to be thinking about the rest of these guys that we can see every single day? There's nobody any of us are looking at right now to be like, mm, you know, I think this guy is better than Jordan. There's nobody, really. Nobody. The closest thing we've seen to Jordan is Kobe Bryant. That's why a lot of people have Kobe Bryant number two all time. I have Kobe number three. He's my favorite player of all time behind Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I don't know how you can ignore a resume like that. But in terms of players, a lot of people have Kobe number two. You watch Kobe Bryant play, you're like, man, is there somebody better? That's That was my sentiment about Kobe. I'm watching Kobe and I'm like, yeah, I don't think there's anybody better at playing basketball than this dude right here. This is just my personal uh, view. So what happened <clears throat> this morning was doing some research and I came across an interesting article on fadeaway sports that was highlighting some comments that former ESPN employee Jalen Rose had to say. And the article had the following headline. It said the following Jalen Rose says every team in the NBA should retire number 23 for Michael Jordan. So that's the article I want to get into. So let me just get into this article right here. Former NBA swingman Jalen Rose believes every team in the league should retire Michael Jordan's number 23 jersey. Rose took to X uh, recently to state that number 23 should be, be retired uh, league-wide and asked for fans th for their thoughts. 23 should be retired throughout the NBA. Thoughts? There appeared a bit of conf uh, confusion at first on who he was talking about so rose clarified he meant jordan who would be confused about this anyway he then continues he continues he goes obviously for jordan the guy played hoops with his tongue out and still has the most popular kicks even though he hasn't played in decades rose received some pushback on his take at, uh, and the 50 51 year old claimed the same people disagreeing with him <clears throat> are the same ones desperate for jordan shoes don't front you and your kids stay thirsty for Jordans. No other athlete has had this strong goal on the public. Bow down. Rose also brought up just how desperate some people have gotten uh, to get their hands on Jordan shoes. MJ is so popular and such that folks are shooting and killing for kicks. Rose concluded by stating that if any, if someone buys Jordans, then they are making his point. If you buying his kicks, then you making my point. So that's what Jalen Rose had to say there. <laughs> One of my thoughts. You know what's funny about this? You don't know what's funny about this? When people were saying this, there were actually people out there posting comments saying, I can almost assure you that the majority of the people that are saying this are wearing Jordans. And I was listening to Ari Spears yesterday on Vlad TV. Who went off? Who started going off on these Jordan haters? Uh, and was going off on them and talking about it. He's like, yo, if you're going to be hating on Jordan, take off his kicks, B. Like, what's wrong with, like, even Eric Spears is going off uh, on these guys. He's like, if y'all think LeBron is better than Jordan, why don't y'all be wearing LeBron's sneaker? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so what's my thoughts on this? Listen, uh, Jalen Rose understands what the hell is going on. Number two, I think he is aware of all of this ridiculous chatter that's been taking place throughout the internet with people contaminating the airways with their stupidity uh talking about michael jordan can't go left and the 90s wasn't that great and blah 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 i think jalen rose is aware of this and he's like this is utter madness right like the vast majority of us listen um <clears throat> should teams retire jordan's jersey yeah because even if you're wearing michael jordan's jersey we're still thinking of jordan if you're a player wearing number 23, we're thinking of Jordan. When David Beckham wore 23, we were thinking of Michael Jordan. So 
the number is synonymous with Jordan and greatness. And if you have losing, especially a lot of losing on your resume, you shouldn't be allowed to wear Jordan, uh, the, the number 23. You're contaminating the product. You're diluting the brand. So to me, listen, most of these guys hating on Jordan are probably Jordan fans. Um, they wear his clothes. Uh, they Their favorite players look up to him. But now we on this new way when we're going to try to discredit Jordan. Think about that. NBA fans, some of them, are trying to discredit Michael Jordan. That would be like Formula One fans trying to discredit Michael Schumacher or Lewis Hamilton. Or baseball fans trying to, uh, you know, uh, disgrace uh, Babe Ruth. Or boxing fans going after Muhammad Ali. Like, where, where we at? Where we at in the culture? Where we at in space and time right now? Like, what's going on really? Like, what are we doing exactly? We, we, we entering into the weirdest time uh, in civilization. Like, it's just where the level of disrespect and craziness is taking place out here. Uh, to me, it's crazy. To me, it's absolutely crazy. I think a lot of these guys cannot deal with the fact that Jordan has this enduring legacy that no matter what's said about him, is nothing is sticking. <clears throat> nothing is sticking. They can't really find a way to argue around his greatness. So now they're looking for every kind of ridiculous argument to bring up to support whatever feeling that they have. And there's only one fan base doing this. And I'm going to continue to call you guys out. Maybe not all LeBron fans, but the vast majority. You guys are the ones starting this conversation. And y'all looking, I'm, I, you know, I got to state it. You guys are really embarrassing yourself. I've watched a lot of people create content uh refuting some of the things that you guys have said and a lot of them and not just me have really in question some of you some of you guys intelligent they really have like i've watched a lot of people and a lot of them think like you guys are making some moronic art i like a good amount of them to do this is just desperate and you know the irony in all of it this oh we're done with the night it's not even sticking like at the end of it nobody cares and like at the end of it nobody's taking you seriously and what gets me is that they want to go out there and have this position. But then when you have creators like creators like us and others out there trying to push back, oh, my God, like you're Jordan. Hey, you're, you're supporting blah, 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 blah. Like, what, what are we supposed to let y'all run them up? Y'all already got Shannon Sharp and Nick Wright and all of these guys running up on running up on people, slapping them, slapping them. Honey, you got Shannon Sharp handing out buckets of honey to people. You got these dudes twerking it up all over the place, knocking over drinks, spilling coffee on people's uh, laptops, like all type of crazy stuff. All type of crazy. Like what? Like what are we doing? What's 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 happening to the NBA right now? But anyway, y'all y'all gonna feel, y'all gonna feel that crunch. Y'all gonna keep feeling that crunch because what's what what I wonder is gonna happen is when your man retires and nobody's talking about him. Then y'all really gonna be feeling that crunch when everybody comes to the conclusion like Nah, he wasn't better than Jordan. Cut it out, son. And what's gonna happen is the same thing that happened to all of these great players. You're gonna have people now scrutinizing LeBron James' career, and we're gonna see just how well that that how well that ages. And people are like, yo, hold up, son. They was calling. They were saying this dude number two all the time. But he lost so many times in the playoffs. What about all the times he, he fell apart? What about all the No, you got to be bugging. Now, son is better than him. And then, and then, then, then you're going to really you're gonna see what's going to happen. Then you're going to see Nick Wright crying on TV. But anyway, these are my thoughts. What I want to know from you guys. What do you think about what Jalen Rose said? Do you think there's any uh, legitimacy to it? Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comments when we catch you on the next show. Peace.